It's this week's recommended Blender downloads. Toasty! Let's go. Alright guys, how's it going? I hope you're doing very well. Now it's came to that time of the week again where I skip the internet, looking for the best downloads for your downloading pleasure. As always, please support third party developers and artists. Check me out, I'm getting good at that. <laughs> Do apologise for the lack of videos in the last couple of days, extremely busy with work. But I have a shitload to get through and there's some epic add-ons and stuff here and we're going to quickly kick this off with the IV generator and geometry nodes. So good, so damn good. It basically generates IV and it's really intuitive, it's dead easy, it uses geometry nodes, I think I believe it uses fields so it's pretty new. Definitely worth grabbing if you're doing a lot of environment work. The next one up is the growy geometry nodes fields, very similar in the same premise, essentially gives you a nice growth, great for doing things like flowers, ivy, fields, stuff like this. And moving over to align and distribute the free add-on, this is from Army Deep. Every Sunday I believe he's still releasing an add-on, you can purchase this over in Blender Market or obviously you can buy it but it is free and all the links in the description down below. Moving over to Ryan King Art, you have the realistic Eevee glass shader, free download of course. Eh, this looks alright, not too bad, it's a little bit, internal reflections are a bit there but if you ever need a glass shader for Eevee, might be definitely worth checking out. Jumping over to GitHub, we have the Fletch nodes, node groups for Blender, so it's essentially a bunch of nodes for geometry nodes and it's pretty cool to be honest, it gives you a nice visualisation. Definitely worth grabbing as well and keeping it on GitHub, we have Snap to Ground. Very similar to Drop It, I think Drop It's having an issue with 3.1, so this was written in its place, it basically snaps the ground, a nice tool, it's always good. And quickly jumping over to Blender Artist, we have Shape Keys Editor, now I've not tried this out, so if you have tried it out or if you've used it, let me know in the comments. Hi everyone, I've developed an add-on which aims to edit Shape Keys in Blender easily, it has three main features, rename, delete and sort, so it just kind of helps you kind of organise your Shape Keys, let's, let's put it that way. And moving it back over to Gumroad, we have the Blender 3D Skin Material, and this is from Southern Shotty. So you know it's going to be pretty good to be honest. Essentially, it's a nice skin material. Pretty good if you're doing character work, I believe. It looks kind of that. It's not 100% real, but hey, worth the download. Next one up, we have a really nice collection of scripts. You have the Batch Render Creator. I'm going to check that out as soon as I'm finished this video. But the one that did catch my attention was the Show Hide Multiple Objects add-on for Blender 2.9, etc. Now there is a couple of these add-ons kicking around, so it's up to you which one you use. And moving over to Arthur Shapiro, a couple of really nice rigs here to be honest. You have the Mario rig, don't know why you would use the Mario rig, but hey, it'll come in handy somewhere. But the one that did really grab my attention was the Honda uh, CX650. If it had been a CBR600, I'd maybe give it a little bit more credit, but hey, really nice rigs to be honest. You could probably put Mario on the bike rig. <laughs> and one of our favourites is pretty much dominating with Geometry Nodes, it's Sanctus. Geometry Nodes pencils for Blender, obviously check out his page, pretty good stuff to be honest. And this is another free add-on from Ami Deep, you know how I mentioned they does it every Sunday. You have the Quick UV Checkers for Blender. Quick UV Checker is a free Blender add-on that allows you to quickly toggle on and off the UV Checker to help unwrapping. Yeah, definitely worth having a quick swatch at. The next one up is the procedural carbon fibre for cycles and Eevee, very nice, this is from S Mouse. And before I move over to the commercial add-on of the week, in place our Blender add-on for making animations in place, so you know, generally if you do like a walk cycle, the character will move forward, I think this basically just keeps it in one place. Maximal and Unreal rigs are supported, make it in place button removes the forward and lateral movement, so yeah, it basically takes away the forward movement. Very nice, and it's my commercial add-on of the week, and I have recommended this before, so don't shoot me, there is no affiliation link, and it's the Erendale Toolkit. Now some of you say I might be biased, I sit in the Discord quite a lot, I do Blender Royale over there, but I've been using this in production for the last week, yeah last week, <sighs> it's came in so handy. Prices went up, if you grabbed it a couple of weeks ago you would have got it for 5 bucks. it's now 15 bucks, but it's definitely worth that. Especially for the tools it gives you for geometry nodes. So good, so good. So let's finish this up with the Sketchfab download of the week. And it's a DeLorean. It's a 100 follower special. It's a DeLorean. What else do you need, man? What else do you need? And of course, we always finish up in Polyhaven. It's the free HDRI. And this is the Parks Parking. Cool name. And finishing it up with the texture, the PBR texture, you have the Forest Leaves 03. And that's been pretty much this week's recommended Blender downloads. Do me a favour, guys. 
Like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me Twitter. You know what to do. Take care.